Hello everyone, welcome to the replay. Thanks for joining me tonight. I've got a less complicated card than I did last night. I know last night's card had a lot of embossing and a lot of extra stuff, but I had a lot of fun making it. Um, and so I hope, you know, you'll step out of your comfort zone every once in a while. Try something new, see how you like it, see what parts you like and maybe some parts you don't, and that's okay too. Um, but you never know. It's it's always fun to create something totally different. So let's get started with tonight's card. Let me say hello to hello Karen and Christy and Mom and Kara and Krista. I hope y'all are watching or thank you for watching. Um so today's card is gonna be a lot simpler than yesterday's card, like I said, but I'm still gonna do a little bit of that extra stuff that I like to do, like embossing and fussy cutting, things like that. So I pulled out the Comfort and Joy scrapbooking because I want to use the poinsettias and a little bit of this greenery and the berries. Um, I also pulled out a couple of old stamp sets. They're not, I don't think that this one's available anymore. This one called Woodland Wishes. It might be available, but I can't say for 100% sure. Um, and I think that, oh, there we go. Okay, I've got some light now. Um, so out of this, I really am looking for this little Christmas um, wording. Because remember the other day when I cut Mary three times? Well, I've stuck them already and glued them together so I can have that word. And I just need a Christmas to go with it. So I found it in this stamp set. Um, any any Christmas wording would have been fine. Um, but out of here, I actually just want to use these little, um, what do you call them, branches? Oh, I'm going to lose my light tonight. I guess I'm not going to have any light. But hopefully you can still see. Um, I want to maybe use these pine cones or these leaves and see what we get out of them, if I even need them. I don't know. It's just a little extra, extra. Okay, so let me show you what I've got started. I've got my card base, and then I used my stitched rectangles to cut this red and black paper, and then this green holly paper. It's actually the back side. So I've got both of these, and I've also got one cut out of just black cardstock. And so I'm looking at maybe having a little bit of a design element where the two pieces are offset and I don't know which two I want to use yet. So I don't know if I want to use the red and the green paper or the red and the black cardstock. So I've got all three cut and as we go along, I'm hoping that I'll be able to make a decision on that. But the other part that I want to do is just kind of stamp some poinsettias that I can make a little arch right here and then I'll fussy cut it on this side to you know overlay it onto my paper um, and then have my sentiment. So I have a loose idea of what I want to do um, and let's see how it pans out. Okay I'm just bringing in a piece of scratch paper so that when I stamp off of it it uh, can go onto the scratch paper. Let me see here. Let me say hi to Aunt Lily. I see you. Hello, Lily. Hi, Carla. Um, yeah, oh, I know. Oh, you're saying that it's okay without the the light. Um, I hope so. I hope you can see it because my battery pack is uh, apparently out of juice. So I guess it didn't charge correctly. But so you can see all the shadows, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Unfortunately, I wonder if I have an extra battery pack. Hold on, let me look just right over here. Oh, unfortunately, I do not have an extra battery pack. So, oh, I hate that. I hate that I'm going to have to have no light so it's gonna have that little shadow but sorry sorry about that i'll make up for it um okay so i'm gonna start off i guess stamping the poinsettia 
so that I can build out from there. And, and I'm gonna stamp it flat. But then I'm gonna mask it and stamp, um, stamp the rest, right? But then I'll put one thin cut and dimensional on top of it. So this is really just for purposes of, number one, having the image um, in the location that I wanna use it, but also, like a lot of blocks um, so that I can have a placeholder <laughs> and so I can start to have a place to build from okay. so I've got a couple of different um, baskets with blocks and apparently I'm not seeing them very well I'm gonna start off with the candy apple I'm just gonna kind of just see right about where I want that. And so we're gonna do some masking. Obviously, that's gonna give us take a little extra time from us, but I think we're gonna be happy with it with the results. I'm hoping we're gonna be happy with the results. Okay. So I need to fussy cut this so I can use it as a mask because that um, second petal, I really want to be able to layer it over and have it, have it look good. Okay. And I realize that I'm putting the the one that I'm going to thin cut over it, but I still want the one underneath it. If you look at it from the side, I want it to look good. Just trying to keep it clean. So for my mask, I am cutting as close to the stamped image as possible. I'm not leaving it really a halo like the thin cuts would, which is why I didn't die cut it. I, I didn't want all that halo. I wanted it to look like natural stamping. And, so, and the, the fussy cutting doesn't take too long. It's easy enough to do. Now, let me take this one off. And remember, be careful with it because it it is thinner in this area so if you pull a leaf that webbing is only gonna keep it together so far so you want to be careful when you're pulling it off the block that you don't pull too hard and rip it um i'm gonna ink it up in the candy apple again i do have the scarlet though and i think i'm gonna do a little bit of rock and roll just to kind of get some darkness in there I, I don't know why it would i know it's not going to matter much on this image but and i'm pressing it down really well because since it has that mask on it i want to be sure that my second stamp makes good contact with the paper underneath okay that's fine. That's going to be where we place our thin cut one. So we've got a good start. And then I need to remember to clean these because since I'm using red ink, it does kind of give it a tint. And I want to keep them... I don't want to stain them too much because sometimes when you go to use them, it just doesn't look as pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to use this other poinsettia stamp to just stamp a couple more 
going out. And I'm gonna use the candy apple red for that. So I've got my mask for that one. And I think I'm just gonna kind of go in between those two leaves. And then that one. And I'm gonna come back and fill with the um, greenery or brownery or whatever color you want to call it. Okay, so that's good. That's good. I'll probably do it, and even if I overlap, it'll probably still look nice. So I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. I'm just gonna add some greenery in like that. Leave that. Actually, I don't like how that one looks. I might need to Actually like how that looks it's a little off but it looks thicker okay and then I want to add some of the brown from this other stamp set I'm just going to use some espresso for that. I'm kind of, I guess I'm going to have to overlap them. bit of brown in there. And I'm just kind of adding in the brown. And I'm going to add in those acorn pieces, not acorn, pine cone pieces um, here in just a minute. Because I'm going to do those kind of die cut as well. So I'm going to come in here and just fussy cut around these pieces. But I'm gonna leave the other side intact, or just straight, um, a straight cut like that. Cause it's gonna go up against our other papers. Now, if you're worried that this is looking a little plain, don't worry because I pulled out some extra stuff. cardstock just kind of there we go so I'm just making 
that border. There we go. And so this is where I need to make the decision. So I can either go the black with the red. And just match that up. So that white. So you do the Mary. Hmm. So now I'm wondering, I don't like that black all the way on that edge. I can cut this a little bit closer and move it maybe more to the edge. So we could totally do without that. And let's say we have this, and I can add a mat there and do that. I really like that. I think that looks pretty. Hello, Julie. Hey, Mary. Hey, Giada. Hey, Carger. I, Carger, you've got to tell me your whole name, your real name. Um, I think I'm liking this. I think I just want maybe a little... Um, I don't know that I would want a black border. Or maybe I should do the green. Oh yeah, that might look really, really pretty. Okay, so what if we do that? Do I have four and a quarter inches of paper? And I bet you I do. I probably don't actually need four and a quarter. I just need the five and a half. Because you see how that'll be hidden. And let's see here. Okay. I know, I wish I could get the stitching though on a full. So I could do that all the way. Oops. And then I can show as much or as little as I want so that I have a little bit more of a um, margin on that side and then add this part over. And that I think looks really nice. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to put the Merry Christmas probably up here because if I put my poinsettia here, that's going to be killing my space. Let's return our card. Oh, oh, that's a thought too. We could turn our card. And have it go that way and I think that would look pretty neat you guys I am totally see you start out with a loose concept and then it turns into something more so I think I'm liking that idea and that's what we shall do okay let me adhere this I do wish there was a little bit of a place where I could add some shimmer trim and I might do that up at the top so that we just get just the tiniest bit of trim. And even though some of this is going to be covered, I 
I've got plenty of shimmer trim in my stash. I'm just trying to keep it even. looks pretty straight hopefully it is and now let me add in this box oops so I'm probably gonna add it right about there so that I have room to add this just like that but I'm gonna add this part on foam tape obviously of course I definitely want to see that shimmer trim. I'm just going to add some pieces here. Super riveting content when I'm ripping off the backing. Well, hello, Emmett McDaniel. Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to just put that down. Does that match? It matches. Very good. Okay. I need to stamp my pieces that I'm going to run through my die cut machine. And so for that, I need a little bit of white. run them through first and then I'll stamp them. Oops. That way I don't have to um, use any tape to hold them down. Let me just run it through real quick. Acorns and stuff that I want. Not acorns. Pine cones. Pine cones. It's because we don't. I don't have a lot of that kind of stuff around here. I mean, mesquite trees. It's a different kind of tree. Okay, this is the back one. So you just want to turn it till your petals line up and you know which direction you're going. Okay, I'm going to do some candy apple with a little bit of scarlet. Whoops, I turned it. That's going to fit real nice, just right there. Shammy. And then our front petals. Oh, I hit it right on the first try. 
Not to hit it right on the first try. Perfect. Good deal, good deal. Okay. We're just building this up little by little so that I can make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I need to pop this part up. There we go. Okay, so I want to make sure my petals match the underneath portion. Oh, perfect. So that one matches there. Does that one match there? It looks like it does. Awesome. Okay, now I am going to put a little bit of these foam dots on these back petals um, so that they'll be supported on the card. I, I mean, I would love for the whole flower to be kind of floating but that's definitely not going to be enough adhesive. I'll just take the backing off. Now these would have been really neat and some distressed uh, ink with all the so the watercolor, does that, match? does that match? Yeah. It should come through and you can kind of fold up your petals. Give them a little texture, a little extra dimension. Oh, the, the bottom ones I forgot, they're already smushed down. So here now I want to add some of the brown pine cones. So I'm just gonna take that and um, with the espresso. see what we get um, I do want to maybe use a little bit of the toffee shimmer brush to color that in and so these will definitely have some shimmer to them I'm going to take the desert rose and add just a little bit of extra. Just for some secondary color in there. Now let's fussy cut this and see where we're going to tuck these little guys. Oh, hey, Bianca. Let's 
So I'm just kind of fussy cutting, but actually I'm just making little squiggly edges to mimic the unevenness. See, maybe we can add a little bit of that. I still need to add my sentiment, so I probably shouldn't forget that. I might be able to get that one back up. I'll tuck this guy. Oh, I guess I could have put some glue underneath. Let me see. Did that work? Yeah. Okay. Should probably put the adhesive on before I try and tuck under. Okay. So let me put on, let me put some adhesive on this guy. I'm gonna lift up this pedal just so I can get Oh, I don't like how that looks. That might be too big. Maybe that needs to go that way. It just looks a little funny to be exactly symmetrical on that side. So I'll, I'll move them down. And I'm gonna have to stick another dot back in there because I messed that one up. There we go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave that. Um, I guess the best way to actually add any more of that pine cone is to stamp it, but I would need to make a little mask again, which we're already here, people. Okay, we just make a mask real quick. It doesn't matter that this is not red because obviously it's just going to be used to cover up. This is supposed to be simple. But apparently, I'm incapable. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, I like that a lot better. It just gives me more uh, little brown areas. Okay. 
And so we'll just come through and color them just like we did the other ones. So that even if they didn't um, stamp as well, I think we're still getting the idea. I think you can still see, obviously, that it's the pine cone. Oh, that's not a pine cone. It gives us lots of color and texture, and I really, really, really like that. Okay. So here's our Mary. It might even need to be like that. Um, but we need to stamp or emboss, stamp and emboss and cut our Christmas. And I'm going to do that, um, I think, in the gold. I think it would look really neat in gold. And it's just going to go right there. See? Boop, boop. If we don't like it in this, we can try it in a different color. We might even try it in the green. But let's try it first. Let's try it first. So we'll take our anti-static pouch. And our first mark. Make sure we get Good, good coating. Here's our gold. And here's our funnel. Or our, you know what I mean, our paper. Well, I need to put it on the right side, don't I? Hey, what about if I stamp it first? <laughs> oh my God. You guys just let me do that whole thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mm, I swear. Some people... Some people need a drink. <laughs> you guys, that was hilarious. Okay, I'm just cleaning it off. But I'm gonna read this <laughs> just in case it dried off. Híjole, híjole, híjole. Okay, let's stamp it. I probably put all the static back on it now. Oh, that's hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. We definitely have it uh, on there now. Let's just put back all that extra powder. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to forget that one. That one was funny. That's funny, funny. <sighs> and now for the reverse tweezers to hold it while we heat, heat it up. And I'm hoping that whole word is very, very fine line. I'm hoping it shows up really well once we get it all melted up. Whoa. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so obviously you can get this too hot and then it will move on you. Let's see what happens. That totally, ugh, see where I got it too hot and it just moved way too much. All that embossing powder, yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, well then, why don't we try again? We'll try it again. And I will be more careful this time. I hadn't ever done that. And I've heard people say, you know, be careful, because you can, but I'd never seen it done. So I didn't know how true those rumors were. I've got more paper now to handle so I can hold it and move it easier. And I won't be afraid to burn myself. Okay. Like so far, I'm liking this card. It's working out great. I've got some uh, blingy bling we can use for the center of those poinsettias. So I'm just gonna, as soon as it's melted, I'm just gonna trust it to be melted. Okay. Here we go. I don't wanna add, do. My only concern is that some of this looks. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I know this has a thin cut to it, but it's easy enough that I can just cut it myself. And that way I can control how much of that halo it gets. that there and then I can add that right there I think that'll work let me put my gold gem so that it can start coming together in your eyes quicker see this gold They're like glitter, they're called glitter gems, I believe. And so it's like a little mound of glitter, but the top of it is smooth. I would love to add one of those big shiny ones. Okay. Oh, what I could have done, which is what I should have done. I'll do it in a second though. Um, let's see, I need to add, of course, the Mary on foam tape. And it's not the, it's not the fat foam tape, it's the thin foam tape. So it's not like super duper high off the page. But... I can either put this flat 
It's gonna have to go like that. So let me see if maybe I can get some of these little glue dots, not glue dots, foam dots, to fit in these little circles. And why I let my area get to this point is beyond me because it is now very, very difficult to find the thing that I just had in my hand a second ago, which is that little pokey thing. Like, really? Can you seriously lose something that you had two seconds ago? Okay, that'll help. That's not so much because it's going to go right on that. Dedicated to the cause, for sure. Like, these are super tiny little dots. <laughs> like I'm trying to find a way to make them work. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on this bottom of the wine because I know that part should fit, hit right about there. And then maybe just along the bottom edge of the word. Yay, that works. That works perfectly. I got a little bit of a glue uh, squash there. Dab it up with the chamois. Okay, now I'm almost done with this card. I'm going to quit adding stuff to it except... I'm gonna add some of these um, platinum. It's the stickles and it's, um, I've been using it so I'm a little bit like on the half empty. I'm gonna show you it. I'm gonna do a couple of dots here and there. And you can control how big they are how small they are. So it'll just add a little bit of bling. Well, that was somebody who obviously my kids didn't follow through and do what I asked. I was coming through and adding because I really like the effect. But one side looks like it's going to have more than the other. Okay, so when that dries, it'll look really neat because it'll have all these little bubbles. All these little gold dots. But, let me lift it up to you. 
Hopefully you can see all that good shimmery, shiny goodness. Hey, Janet. Thank you, Howard. Hi, Dora. Thanks, Lily. Hi, Nancy. So you see, even all these little pine cones that I didn't color like super perfect, you still get the effect. You still know it's there. The colors from the two different shimmer pens. And then all that good. All that goodness. So there's the card. I hope you like it. Um, definitely different than what I had in mind when I started. But I like the direction that it took. Um... So there we go. Now, tomorrow I do have a game, a football game. We are in the playoffs. Um, I'm leaving early, so I'm going to have to do my video earlier in the daytime. Um, not sure what time exactly yet, but I'll come in. I'll do my live. I hope you can join me. And if not, just know that it'll be um, on the page and posted, you know, for, for later on in the day whenever you do have a chance to come through. And I hope you will. Um, there you go. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.